The Legend of Zelda Major uh, The Wind Waker is one of the best games ever made. Even though it was hated by many when it came out because of the cartoon graphics and the sailing, it looks like nowadays people look back on it and realize, yeah, that was a pretty sweet game. And uh, there are many things to love about Wind Waker, but my personal favorite thing are the many different islands scattered across the great sea in the game. So, in this list, I'll be counting down the best and most memorable islands in the game. Now, I did not plan on making this video, and actually I'm a little bit drunk right now, but hey, I make videos on YouTube, that means videos and my audience are my one and only priority, so here we go, these are the top 10 islands in Wind Waker. And we start the list with the Mother and Child Islands. Now you can't go to this island normally, it's just sealed off, so you have to use the Gallet of the Bales to teleport there. And once you're in there, you can actually obtain the um, fire and ice arrows for your bow. Now this island is pretty memorable because it looks like cr pretty and stuff, and there's also fairies that heal you up, and... Well, there's the Queen of the Fairies, who apparently is a little girl who looks like Fee from Skyward Sword. Now that I think about it, if she looks like P from Skyward Sword, then that means the whole Zelda timeline is wrong somehow. I don't know, it's just a theory of mine. Uh, moving on. Up next is Diamond Step Island. I actually find this island to be pretty memorable because it looks like a diamond and I like diamonds. Diamonds are pretty. But anyway, so <coughs> you use the hookshot to go up the, um, the island and you find a hole. So you go down the hole and you find a little uh, maze dungeon filled with uh, uh, wrecked ships. Now this dungeon is actually pretty cool because it's a uh, maze so you have to like take pots, different pots that take you to a different direction and you have to like get through the maze to get to the end and find the treasure chest that contains the ghost ship shard. Uh, the only bad thing I can think about this island is that the maze is actually filled with uh, floor masters and that's actually pretty annoying because if they grab you they toss you back to the beginning and uh, but other than that this island is pretty cool I just like it a lot. Up next is the Angular Islands. Now these islands look pretty unique compared to the others because they're not actually islands, they're like a pile of metal blocks just rising above the ocean. Now, I am pretty sure this island is actually a homage, a tribute to Minecraft. Yeah, it's a reference to Minecraft. I mean, it ca I mean, this game came out after Minecraft, I think, so yeah, it's a tribute. But anyway, in one of these islands, uh, you go down a hole and you, you actually have to solve a little block puzzle and at the end you get 200 rupees. So you have an island that is really cool because it's a tribute to Minecraft and you get a lot of money from it. And that makes, uh, that lands it the number 8 spot on this list. So, let's go. Up next we have the Cliff Plateau Islands. I like this island a lot because first you go, go in one of the little islands and you go down a hole and there's actually like uh, some kind of mini dungeon. There are like this floating wood things that spin and you have to get on top of them and cross from one of those spinning things to the other until you reach the other side of the dungeon. And then you have to climb all the way up and you reach, uh, you go out on the other, uh, the other end of the island and it's really cool because you have to go through like a mini dungeon to just to cross the island and I always thought that idea was really unique and besides it just like looks really pretty on the inside I mean it looks like the Forbidden Woods but on a smaller scale so it's actually like mini Forbidden Woods and it's kind of cute so yeah that's what I that's why I like this island a lot up next we have paw print island <clears throat> now what's not to love about this place it's shaped like a paw print like a dog or cat paw print I don't know what animal but either way it's uh, must be some kind of pet and it's really cute so but what's really really awesome about this island is that it actually has two dungeons in it first uh, you go inside the little dome thing so you go down the hole in the dome and you find like this whole subterranean forest complex filled with choo-choos and it's like some kind of a maze so you have to go so you have to go through the maze and uh, avoiding all choo-choos and going down the forest and stuff and at the end you find a piece of heart and that's actually like really awesome and outside of the of the dome you can hook shot to one of the trees and go down a hole where there's like a battle dungeon there are a bunch of whiz ropes that spawn a lot of enemies and if you take down all of them you get 200 rupees so you get two really cool things in this island so what's not to love plus it's shaped like a paw print so that's really awesome and at number five we have overlook island now I love how this island looks because there are like this 
giant towers that rise above the ocean and it just has a really cool design. Now you hook shell from one tree to the other, from one tower to the other and in one of the towers there's actually a battle dungeon. There are many rooms that contain many enemies and you have to take them out like testing all your skills and strengths and all that and at the end you fight a bunch of dark nuts yeah dark nuts and once you're done with them you can obtain a triforce chart so it's a dungeon that looks well it's an island that looks really cool and it has a pretty cool dungeon and you can get something really useful in it and it's a shame that most people don't appreciate this island I guess you can say that overlook island is very overlooked <laughs> okay moving on and at number 4 we have the very island where you start from, Outset Island. Link's home and fil filled with all of his family and friends. But aside from that and the whole nostalgic feeling, you know, of like this being the start of your adventure, there's a lot of cool stuff to do, there's a lot of secrets, uh, you can obtain money doing all sorts of things, there's actually a, some kind of mini dungeon on top which has a fairy that gives you a bigger wallet. And well... As I said before, there are a lot of things to do, many upgrades you can get, like many collectibles. And you can get like the elixir soup, which is really a fantastic healing item. And there's just so much to love about this island. Really, I think the only disadvantage, the only bad thing this island have is that really shitty, annoying snot bubble kid. God damn it, I hate that kid, he's so... Ugh. At number 3 we have the Forest Haven. Now, I actually like this island for personal reasons, like technically there isn't like a whole lot of exciting, exciting things about it, but I just think it looks really really pretty. I think this is the prettiest looking island in the entire game and that's saying a lot because this, this game has a lot of pretty looking islands. But I think this one is the prettiest, it just has such a beautiful, like natural, natural I mean, and it's so peaceful and soothing and... Pff, that's all I can say about this island, really. I mean, I already said there's not much to it, but it just really it looks really pretty and relaxing. And that's why I like it. I mean, hell, I'm the one who's making this list. If you don't agree with me, make your own list. Look, sh I don't care. <laughs> Number two, there is a Windfall Island. Now, honestly, to tell you the truth, I'm actually feeling pretty sick at this point, so I don't think I can say much. Uh, so um, I'll just say that this island is just really cool, there's a lot of stuff to do, a lot of secrets, a lot of items you can actually get to uh, make your game an overall more enjoyable experience, and there's a lot of interesting characters, uh, that's all I have to say I guess, let's go to number one. And the number one, the absolute best island in all of Wind Waker is Dragon Roost Island. Why is it number one? Because of the music. Like, I don't care about anything else. I don't care about the Rito. I don't care about the, all the stuff to do. I don't care about the collectibles. The music. It, this island is the best island in the game because of the music. It's just so freaking cool. Like, seriously, the island, uh, the music, it's what makes this island number one because, goddamn, it, that music is so amazing. And I did it! So there, those were my top 10 islands in Wind Waker, and now I think I'm gonna go throw up. <laughs> well, that sure was an April's Fool's video, I guess. Also, what you're listening to right now is my new microphone. From now on, all of my commentary for future videos will be recorded using this microphone. Isn't it beautiful? Alright, see you next time!